Hello, you still there? Yep. Okay, so we have one left right now. So, I have about a 30 yeah. minute drive, so hopefully nobody picks it up. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my videos. All right, we're in the Z. We're parked right outside Panera Bread. But we're about to go on our 30 minute drive to a Harbor Freight. This is the first time that I'm ever going to this Harbor's Freight. Like I said, we're in the Z. Pretty excited to go on this little drive. I haven't driven this car in a minute, so let's see how she handles. And the reason why I'm going to this Harbor's Freight is this Harbor's Freight has what I need in stock. And you guys are gonna see what we're gonna pick up in a bit, but, but just know that the closest Harbor's Freight that has what I need is 30 minutes away. So let's go ahead and enjoy this drive. All right, we made it to Harbor's Freight. As you guys can see, we're right outside the building. This is how the car looks right now. Take a good, nice picture. But this is how I'm gonna get inside the car. I gotta get in through the window. Oh. All right, we in this bitch. We got a roll cage in here. If you know, you know. If you don't, now you do, but this is why I had to go in through the window because I went ahead and tied it down to the door handles. So, let's go home. Now this car canopy isn't for the SUVI and it's not for the truck because the truck is gonna be the daily in the winter. So I'll let you piece it together and know what car I'm gonna put in there, but now I'm gonna have a link down below for you guys in case you guys wanna cop one for yourself. But I'm very excited to open this box and start building this. The thing that I'm looking forward to the most is once this canopy is set, we're gonna start puzzling this car back together. Because winter is just around the corner, I gotta hurry up and build this tent before we can even touch the car so we can do it. All right, now this is how everything comes in the box. Now I'm gonna take a minute to go ahead and read the owner's manual to actually get to understand how we're gonna set this up. I have a basic understanding on how we're gonna build this, but for the most part, I'm gonna get guided based on this. But this is again, how everything comes packaged. Let me show you guys how this all came out. Now, I don't want my dogs peeing the side of this tent because then the smell is gonna stay inside and then all of the smell is basically gonna stay in the tent. So I went ahead and built a little gate right here and I put some of this chicken wire fence to just make sure that my dogs don't go on this side and pee my tent. Now, I also went ahead and put a traffic cone right in front of my car that way this thing isn't pressing up against the tent and in order to prevent the tarp from scratching the car i went ahead and laid down some blankets and then i have two bricks just holding up the blankets there's really not much air or anything going on in here so those two things aren't going anywhere and even if they do roll out or down they're gonna roll on top of the blanket and then eventually fall straight down for the rear i do have the blanket being held in with magnets so I have a magnet there, a magnet there, and a magnet over there. Right now, in the front, I have those bricks there, but that's only temporarily. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some more magnets that way they can hold down the actual blanket to the car. I also went ahead and installed some wheel covers that way the rotors don't get rusty with any moisture going on in here. But one of the things that I wanna tell you guys about this tarp is I wasn't able to fully build it. This tarp comes with one, two, three, and a fourth pole. I wasn't able to put the fourth pole because it would have stick way past here and into this section over here. And as you guys can see, we have a trailer there. So because the tent was too big, I had to remove some of the poles and 
it ended up working just fine the car still fits yes it's not perfect but it still fits it's being protected and it's being protected from the snow from the salt so this right here is how the c is going to sit until next year or next spring i'm gonna have the tent link down below for you guys in case anybody wants to pick it up there is a smaller version of the tent that i got and in my head i'm guessing this is how big it would be so I'm gonna go ahead and link both of them down below for you guys, but I'm very happy with this tent. It was cheap, it was easy to build, and it's gonna keep the Z covered so that none of the snow ruins the paint or just gets on here because I don't want this car to see the snow. Shout out to my two older brothers for helping me build this. A lot of times they help me with my projects, so I wanna give them the attention that they serve, so. Shout out to you Johnny, shout out to you Chai. Next time you guys see me, I'm finally gonna be piecing back the Subi. Now I wanted to take care of this first before we started working on the Subi. Just because snow is already here and I was able to build a tent just in time for our first snowstorm. So, so that's why I had to focus all of my time and energy to this tent and the Z. Now that the tent is built and now that the Z is put away, we can go ahead and start working on the Subi. So make sure you stay tuned for that, but until then, peace out my friends.